what's good shredheads mr clanging and banging aka today sweaty break working on my cardio day one of the 16 week shreddy cut what the hell is a 16 week shreddy cut the 16 week shreddy cut is actually an 18 week cut which shreddy wasn't ready to film two weeks prior so what you're getting is 16 hellacious weeks of shenanigans from shreddy is I aim to get in the best shape of my life as I aim to get show, shape, shreddy. So what this is going to be is a weekly vlog series documenting my next 16 weeks cutting, covering diet, training, supplements, cardio, which is what I'm doing now. In general shenanigans, you just see shreddy break in, no gimmick. It's a lifestyle. So tune in this weekend on YouTube for more. This got done with a hard chesticle, triceptical, biceptical, leg out, finishing up, trying to get England's hard stabs right now. So guys, back home, finished off Monday. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at behind the camera? Shreddy's done, Shreddy's bloody ready for some food in his belly. So what I've done today is heavy chest, pumping arms, show you a little clip in the gym earlier, finishing off with some abs, hit me cardio this afternoon. What I do with cardio and weights, do it separately. Normally do cardio in an afternoon or an evening, and then weights vice versa. Home now though, cooking up some 5% uh, lean mince with some peppers, some mushrooms, in fact Shreddy Beth put it on for me while I was still on my way home. Way, way home. That's what boil all, so we'll tear, tear that right down. And it's going to be boiled, the kettle is boiling. There'll be a few people out there who know what I mean when I say that, bringing it to the boil. So uh, cardio done, weights done, macros at the minute are 420 to 450 carbs. Protein is about 275, and fats I'm getting as a byproduct from the rest of my food. So egg yolks, beef, a little bit of fat from the microwave rice I'm having. Probably is average at about 45, 50 grams. I don't eat food for fat at the minute, so I'm just getting it as a byproduct from everything else. That's Monday in the can, in this weekly vlog roundup. I'll be bringing you Tuesday, coming up next. It's Tuesday, it's day two of the Shreddy Cut, and just woke up. Got that shredded on, a bedhead, but I just found these. Look at them. Some rogue socks. Looks like fucking Michael Bublé. I don't know where these socks came from. I don't know who it is, but they were bloody in my sock drawer. Today, I'm going to be training heavy back, got some deadlifts in there, pumping shoulders, wrestling training at the night. Let's get ready for Tuesday. You need to be hopefully, yeah? Sure. You don't. No like that. You're an idiot. Like, we're running a fight out of a fire ant Jesus. on my old dog Ruby. Sure. Well, it would. I'll put this over here. Who would run in a fight? I don't know. Well, guess. A fire ant on my old dog Ruby. If I guess right, I'll have a Yeah. He won't let me have one because he's dead. Well, who would win in a fight then? Obviously, Ruby. Why? Because I can just fight it. Oh, stamp on it. But the fire ant could set Ruby on fire. No, it couldn't. But why is it called a fire ant? I don't blow my because it can burn you. So then it might burn the dog? Oh, sure. So it's 6 or 6. I'm about 36 minutes later than what I would normally would be getting to the gym. Um, traffic was a biatch. The capital B. But here we are, we're at the gym. First workout of the day today. Car's beeping. Today is a rest day. It means we're going to hit some cardio. Perhaps the most important part of any bodybuilding routine. Today's tan day. We're going to go and top up that shreddy tan. So we're going to go and hit the sun shreds. Top up that tan. After 30 minutes of cardio, a little bit of abs. So, and the shreddy cut is took on a literal meaning today. Look at this. Quite literally, 
pressure he's been and had his haircut. Typically I'll do three sessions a week when I'm cutting if I need more of it. But I'll always build up from that. I'll start with 25-30 minutes and build up over time as I need it. Never start ball steep. That's some good advice for life in general. Just weighing himself, weighing at 218. So there's a guy I know called the Heavyweight Classic. And now I would like to see the Heavyweight Classic versus the Shreddy Weight Classic. What about you guys, eh? So we're now at the most boring part of today. On the sun tread, top up that tan for nine minutes. Now this is a, a legit tip. The more tan you are, the better you look. Fat looks better, brown or orange. So get yourselves in the sunbeds, top up that tan. And if you lean anyway, you look fucking even bigger. With, by the time you get a tan, you're twice as big, twice as ripped, twice as jacked and stacked. Current split is um, split over six days with one rest day a week for weights. Wrestling training is um, once, twice a week. Um, and then sometimes if I've got a show, um, there's a third obviously session in there for a match or something like that. Um, it's harder, been harder uh, over the past year to fit in bodybuilding and manage bodybuilding as much as I used to with the wrestling. So I'm trying, yeah, last year I had to just sack it off. Couldn't compete, um, it was just too hard with wrestling. Wrestling is more important to me, so that took priority. This year, um, now I'm a bit more experienced with balancing the two. I want to try and make it work. I want to try and um, get a really good shape again. I want to get show shapes ready while still not sacrificing wrestling. So it's going to be hard. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see more of. Do you want to see in-gym footage, wego footage? Do you want to see just general shenanigans throughout the day? And me doing nothing, stuff like this on the sunbeds. Do you want to see diet advice? Do you want to see me eating food, preparing foods, things like that, full day of eating style videos? Do you want to see more of the wrestling aspect of it? Um, I'm going to try and bring you as much footage as I can. But just let me know what it is that you want to see more of, and by God, Shreddy will give every single Shredded out there supporting the YouTube channel, supporting Shreddy Breath. Shreddy will give all the Shredded exactly what they want. Because remember, guys, this ain't no gimmick. It's a lifestyle. Up there is how you expertly crack open a pack of microwave rice, get it ready, get it prepped, get it ready like shreddy to go in the microwave to have with your chicken, to have with your meal, for your meal, after you've just hit your PM cardio. And Shreddy's going to answer a question that he gets asked a lot on the YouTube channel. He gets asked a lot in the gym. He gets asked a lot on the main streets of Hartlepool, England. Shreddy. What's the juice that you're taking? Shreddy! I want to hold on the juice! Tell me what I need. Shreddy! Let me know how to get some of that juice. Well guys, it's day four of the Shreddy Cut. So I feel like it's my service to all you Shredheads in on what that secret is. It's a secret no more. Because you see guys, the secret sauce, the juice, the deuce, is this right here? Freshly squeezed black currants, no added sugar. It's literally less than 15 calories per 250 mil. It's been juicy since 1938. Oh, by God, it makes Shreddy want to masturbate thinking about the taste sensation that this creates in the taste bud. Whether you're dieting and you're looking for a low calorie fix to get that sweetness in, that Shreddy sweetness in, that's what you want right there. Just watching a little bit of old school. WF right here. And this is something that long, long before I started wrestling training, literally since I was a, oh, how old? Let's mute this just for a second. But that's what I'm watching right now. Just an old episode of SmackDown. As you can see, Stone Cold and Undertaker. Getting on like Donkey Kong. But ever since I was probably seven is when I've been into wrestling. I've got two older brothers, one of which would always have wrestling in the house from literally one earliest memories of just being at home as a kid. A Super Nintendo, playing Street Fighter, playing Donkey Kong, first two games I remember. And also old school WWF, 
Undertaker, Bret Hart, two of the stars that I remember um, just from it being on TV in the house. As a super little kid, I'd sort of was on passively, but I wasn't massively paying an interest to it. It was as I got a little bit older, that's when I really got into wrestling, like seven years old um, is when I was hooked. And, you know, that was me set for life pretty much. Um, as I got older, um, leaving primary school, so how old are you then? About 10, 11. Got into secondary school, most of my mates grew out of it. Um, I didn't, stuck with it, always watched it. Everyone watched the pay-per-views um, till like four o'clock in the morning next day of school oops started training when i was well i had my very very first wrestling training session when i was like 15 got home on a school night monday night uh got home like after 11 o'clock mom and dad after this week two now nah, you're not doing that anymore so that was the end of that when i was 20 started training again circumstance at the time went great didn't have a car didn't have my own travel the cost of getting to travel to training the time it took to get to and back from a training along with uni it just wasn't at that time something i could commit to along with bodybuilding and weight training so it was just something that you know i couldn't commit to and stick with at the time started training properly again when i was i think i just turned not long yeah 26 been training now for over a year not quite a year and a half and that's where we are that's where we've come up to so far I'm not um at wrestling training this is what it is for me watching um wrestling and that's what this a uh, 16 week shreddy cut is also going to document it's going to cut my current cutting but also just the ins and outs of wrestling and um, bodybuilding any work what i'm doing in the gym and just general lifestyle so i hope you guys um enjoy it hope you guys find some entertainment from it find something of interest find it insightful and i encourage you with every video i put up whether it's on youtube or facebook instagram twitter wherever please you know leave questions leave comments down below and um, it's always good to get that fan feedback especially from all those shredheads and eh maniacs out there it's nice just to um have that engagement with people following and to know that the content I'm putting out there is uh, actually getting watched and enjoyed by someone. So that's it for this little clip now, guys. Not cool, guys. Not cool. The snow is absolutely fucking crazy this morning. It's just taken me 45 minutes to do a 20, 15, 20 minute journey. Absolutely mental. It's fucking freezing. But it is day four. Day four of the Shreddy Cut. We have to raise the metabolic rate. Get it nice and hot, like a big old bowl of shreddy break in these ice cold Antarctic temperatures. There we go. About to go and hit legs at the gym. Not an exercise for less gym here. Outside, I think I use some police sirens there. Some shit must be going down. We're going to hit legs now. Um, it's a couple of hours later than the last one. Don't know what time it is because the clock's off. But um, productive morning thus far. Got some business taken care of. But now we're going to go in, hit some hamstrings, um, superset, two exercises. Then on the quads, again, superset, two different exercises. Finish off with some calves. And that's going to be today's workout done. So let's go and take a look. Academic shreddy done for the day, done and dusted, as I like to call it, double D. So, workout's done for the day, all work is done for the day, meal prep, cook, and everything like that's done for the day. Now it's time to go home and CTFO. So, tonight's watch a little bit of Undertaker vs Diesel. That's the first match I'm watching this evening from WrestleMania, and this is what I'm eating right now. Take a look at that. Just white basmati rice, mushrooms, uh, about half a pepper, 170 grams of cooked chicken. I'm wearing this because I've just got in, it's freezing while I'm waiting for the house to warm up. This meal here is a typical meal I'd eat. Three, let's turn this down a second. It's a meal. This here is a meal I'd have typically three times a day. Um, I use the microwave rice purely for convenience. Used to cook rice in the pan 
would do it some still sometimes do do it but after getting in just one food straight away two minutes in the microwave um, a little bit of hot sauce on there frank's chili and lime i think it is hot sauce next to no calories in it just a nice way to um, add some flavor to your food mix it all together a nap turns into way past your bedtime guys i'm absolutely knackered i've just walked up the couch balls deep into a cane and undertake a saga i'm going to bed it's thursday then the day four knackered it was haircut for you guys who's was haircut sir <laughs> eh who's was haircut sir get your belly off it's like martin doing a bit of cardio bed off those palm holes. What day is this? Martin. What what day is this? I'm day. What day? I'm day. I'm day and what else? What else is it, Martin? <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Fucking hell. Video footage of some type. What day is this? I'm day. What else? I'm in big chest. I'm in big chest, but what day is it really? Day five. Of of Shreddy Cut Day. Yeah. What is this? Day five of the Shreddy Cuts? Day five of Shreddy Cut Day. How many weeks out are we? You're 15. 15, how many are you? 25. I'm 13. I think you're 20, 25 <laughs> weeks out at the push. How you doing? Right, how many weeks are you? <laughs> how many palmos are in there? How I'm... many palmos are in there? Right, how many weeks are you? On the Shreddy Cuts? 15. 15. How many inches is that waist? <laughs> 48. Right, tell the viewers in the mirror what we're doing. Heavy hands. Yeah. Pumping chairs. Yeah. The tippy abs. What else? Um, we will be cardio later on. A little bit of cardio later on. What's it like training with Shreddy Martin? I don't know. What's it training with Martin, you know? <laughs> you have to answer that question. That's a good question <laughs> for the viewers. We'll let the viewers. <laughs> Answer that. What's it like training with Martin? Any last words for the viewers? Let's talk about your big fat head. <laughs> Fuck off. That Keep big doing. dumbbell head. Keep doing the guys. Keep clanging and banging. Say it. Go on, say it. Oh, that's your thing. Go on, say it. That's your thing. You're, You're the shredded. No, that's your thing. You You've got shreddies that. cut, so you might as well pinch no, your back trays as well. No, 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 way. You have shreddy bands. That is, you know, that's the shred cut. Oh, Start no. on shreddy first. Well, guys, because Martin won't say it. Keep clanging and banging. Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when I say clanging, you do banging. Clanging. Clanging. Banging. Clanging. Clangin', banging. Clangin', banging. Two more. Banging. Clanging. Banging. How was it feel to be on day five of the Shreddy Cross? Oh, yeah, was that good? Good, super good. good. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> Big Ben reporting in live on the Shreddy Cross. Day five. Look at those swans. <laughs> Let's start the game. Here we are with the Dragon Ball Z. Z Fighters, Beta, just chilling out, finishing off the week, it's Friday night, it's day 5 of the Shreddy Cut, and this is what Shreddy is doing. Parent Network, god damn it, I just waited 17 minutes for it to download. So guys, this is episode 1 of the Shreddy Cut done, I'm going to have to cut it short because damn, I got a lot of footage this week and it's too long for one episode. So what I'm going to do is break week one up into two episodes. And if you guys could comment down below, let me know what you liked and what you didn't like from this episode. Just shoot it down in the comments below so I can shape future episodes. I want to give you guys the best content that I can, make the best videos that I can. So you guys enjoy watching them. I enjoy making them. There's some footage here. I've to be honest, I've recorded a lot of shit, so I'm trying to get rid of that, trying to keep it down to just show some of the best bits. Not a great deal of footage in the gym this week, but if you want to see more, let me know guys. This series is for all you shredders out there, so I'm going to make it as best as possible as I can, so you guys have the best viewing experience possible too. So in the meantime guys, stay up to date with me for daily updates over on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, keep clanging and banging. And remember, this ain't no gimmick. It's a lifestyle.